Hi friends! It's been almost a year since Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse was released. My favorite character from the movie is none other than the adorable baby Mayday Parker. After seeing her, I knew I had to dress up Pillow. Mayday and Pillow share almost identical features, so I am confident the face-up will look great on her. Apart from the face-up, I am particularly excited about crocheting the Spider-Man beanie. Let's start with the outfit. I've already created the patterns by following some tutorials and then adapted them to doll scale. I gathered fabrics from the clothes I no longer wear and from the thrift store. Since it's challenging to find an exact print of Mayday's pattern shirt, I decided to use fabric paint to recreate it. Ironing will set the paint, ensuring it won't budge when washed. Now it's time to sew the pieces together. This brings me to the most awaited part, the cute Spider-Man beanie. I began by forming the piece with a magic loop and primarily used double stitching throughout. It's a bit tricky to demonstrate the entire crochet process since the beanie is small, but I've done my best to show you parts of how I made it.
Now, let's move on to making the wig by crafting the wig cap. I used a clean, air-dried wet wipe and applied layers of glue to make it more durable and better at holding the head shape. I applied a total of 4 layers of glue, allowing each layer to dry before adding another. For the wefts, I opted to maintain the yarn's fluffiness. Looking at Mayday's hair, ironing the wefts isn't necessary due to their thickness and volume. The wig turned out a bit more voluminous than planned, but that's okay. I'll just tie it into a half pony just like Mayday's. Besides, she's a baby so unruly hair is just fine. Now onto the eyes. As always, my main material is UV resin with white pigment. The eye mold I used is 14mm with a small iris of 5mm. I carefully filled the mold to minimize the bubbles. Using a lighter, I removed any bubbles that formed on the surface. I cured the resin in the UV lamp for a total of 4 minutes, until it was no longer tacky. I love that this mold includes the pupil as well. The iris is a simple blue color. Since it's small, intricate details aren't necessary. I'm very pleased with how simple the eyes turned out. Finally, Pillow's face up. Her promotional photo on the website and Mayday's face share a similar simplicity and innocence. They both have rosy cheeks and noses, and the freckles add an adorable touch. I'm thrilled with how well I match the color of her head to her body. You can't even tell that the head is actually a light tan. Color matching is quite challenging so I'm happy to say that I've already acquired a light tan body for Pillow. In the next video, I'll show it to you and she'll finally be in her true color. Glossing is my favorite step in doing the face-up. It brings everything to life. The last detail is blushing the hands and toes. I didn't do the entire body because honestly, I don't feel ready for that yet. I imagine it would be quite challenging especially when it comes to cleaning her body in the future. I know that I'll become more confident in doing it eventually but for now this will do. And now, I present to you Pilo as Mayday Parker! Thank you for watching and see you in the next video! Bye!